thought this uh, conference was just absolutely outstanding. We've had conferences in the past, but I think this one seems to have surpassed the past ones uh, in its initiative and in the topics that were covered. As someone who has been obsessed by Egypt for years, uh, both as an academic and as a, a journalist, I found this conference absolutely incredible. The leading specialists on Egypt, and in particular on the 1919 Egyptian revolutions, were all here in person, offering us their immense knowledge and often uh, their extraordinary uh, insights uh, as well. The conference overall was very rewarding. Uh, firstly, because it was a mixture of academics and non-academics, so it's nice to speak to the layperson, as it were. And it was a very broad uh, mixture of things. I really liked that it was streamed online, even though I was here, so that I can go back and watch it later, because taking everything in and making notes is a bit, a bit tricky. So it's good to have a record to go to later. Looking more at these historical episodes before 1952 actually gives us a lot to think about, about how Egyptian foreign policy developed over time, how the rise of nationalism during this early period kind of provided the foundation for several foreign policy pillars that um, we see now in Egyptian foreign policy. This event was really exciting because it was um, put together by the British Egyptian Society and the, the combination of academics with uh, a group that has come together uh, to explore Egyptian society and Egyptian uh, history was just, it was a very interesting combination to be at an event that's not just academics, but uh, combines academics with non-academics. So it was a, a very interesting experience. Panel comprising um, members of the British Egyptian Society and the CBRL and the uh, London Middle East Institute with whom we've worked on three conferences got together. When the call for papers came in we found three academics including Charles Tripp who once was a professor here and asked them to look at the papers so that we got an independent view and what we wanted for the conference was a blend of academics and non-academics. So many people have contacted me and said, Noel, I've been looking at your website. I've just seen the live streaming. Live streaming, it is brilliant. 